hello family welcome 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 to another edition of our channel Deb Chanel's 48 Swirl along with the family affair you are my co-host and I love each and every one of you all I want to salute everyone that have come to the channel stay with the channel put in your rendition your perspectives in the chat section of subject matter that's what we do we congregate we get together and we talk shit okay and i'm glad to be here with you and i want to thank some of my family members for coming over stopping by wishing me well and, and, and dropping their opinions down in the comments and subscribing. And for the ones who keep coming, go on and subscribe. Go on and subscribe to the channel because I'm telling you, it ain't nothing but fun and banter over here. And people just trying to have a good time, love on each other, and talk shit. Okay? That's what we do. We can't talk shit at work. We can't talk shit around our real Christian uh, family members but then we have to go with the cool crew that do believe in the trinity the father son and the holy spirit and they still want to talk shit because that's what we do it's out we're at one big cookout whether it's on sunday evenings and we're having dinner with the fam or we chilling on saturdays out in the backyard just talking shit cooking and eating okay and talking about people but anyway i want to say a special thank you out to jocelyn cola jermaine montgomery emmy I mean, um, Amy Z.W., Maria, uh, Colin, Kalinowski, Angela Croxton, Nalo L. Bay. And again, I have to, I, I have to uh, say hey to my Sunshine Valley. Love to see Sunshine up there because it just brings a pure spirit of mind and imagery when I see that Sunshine Valley. Okay, so I'm glad you nicknamed yourself that. That's very beautiful. And every time I see it, it just makes me laugh and smile. Thank you to my sister, Mars. <coughs> Marisol girl you've been down deep with me and I appreciate it and yes I am doing well only because they changed my meds my pain meds honey because they were giving me that ibuprofen 800 it wasn't doing jack for me but now uh they gave me some more medication that's suiting me well making me rest at night when I'm laying down and uh I'm very pleased about that and they gave me another muscle relaxer that's fine tuned to my to me and my problems so I am living it up I'm to my I'm like my old self but Lord have mercy I'd be glad when that rib heals up because I had a broken rib and I had a broken shoulder bone that was connected to my right arm so Shoulder break or arm break is hell out. It's broken. Okay, that's all I can say. And when I ain't got no pain medicine to me, it's just like having. Have anybody experienced rheumatoid arthritis or have just a real joint pain? Only you or even sickle cell uh, disease. You know what I'm talking about. That's some serious ass pain. It make you want to cuss everybody out. Cause I know I went for my uh, appointment with the orthopedics doctor, and that one lady that come in and take your vitals and all that shit. She trying to be fake, foolery, fraudulent fuckery going on ask me all these damn questions when i'm sitting in pain man i know she could see my eyes and i was piercing back through her eyes and her just her being her essence and honey she was like okay i ain't gonna fuck with this woman this woman crazy <laughs> and my daughter was like mama leave that lady alone i said honey you don't ask stupid questions and you don't ramble on when you talking to somebody that's in pain okay you better come quick fast in a hurry and you better listen very closely what that person is saying because they are going to go off on you it is not going to be pretty and sure enough when she came back looking at my x-rays and the doctor had came back too oh she came with a different tune she said oh honey i didn't know you was in all that pain because they saw all my breaks in my shoulder my arm as well as my um um what do you call it real and she ain't talked that shit that she was talking before trying to ask me 24 five thousand questions about my health hell you I, I, I ain't no newcomer i had just seen y'all for my arthritis last year what the hell are you talking about you got my record you know what i was coming in for because i had to call and make the appointment and what the hell are you talking about giving me all these one-on-one -on -one questions uh -uh. get me some pain medicine get me di your diagnosis and let me get the hell out of here that's what i was trying to get her but she didn't get it then but she got it good and she got it at the appropriate time because i got two shots in my ass as well one was a steroid and the other one was um what was that? inflammation shot okay so yes 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 
Oh, child, and I still got my 80-year-old mother running around here wanting to give me alcohol baths and, 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 and rub downs. And she gonna, she's going to pray this uh, pain away from me. And I'm like, okay, mama, we got prayed, but we need pills as well. So we can't do one without the other. God made all of these wonderful people to go to school, be, for this, this, ah, be physicians, and, and do what they got to do. Because I don't know nobody in a holistic pathic. Uh, medicine treatment that gonna go out in the forest bring them berries back and and, and them roots and shit and, and, and hook some up for me i don't know i know my baby marisol had told me about some things but right now i'm in the pharmacy medical suitable uh realm of thinking and receiving so bear with me marisol if the shit don't work i will come to you <laughs> hook some shit up together okay love my mirasol all right and um definitely i want to say i think it's uh rexy uh how no, it sounds like sexy something i think it's rexy x or something like that thank you baby girl for keeping me in your prayers and wanting to know how i'm doing i'm fantabulous at this time yes lord okay but i think somebody i think it was um what's it who was it? Shit. I think it was PMP of uh, somebody, a family member, P PMP Patricia Green. Did you ask me about, um, was it my back or something? I was talking about Rita Hopkins. Rita Hopkins was the one initially one of our family members that had surgery on her back. It wasn't my back, but honey, it was like my neck, my back. You know, Kaya saw every shit with her. I, I was tore up from the flow up, and I still am. I'm just on medication at this time. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But, uh, yeah, she, uh, Rita Hopkins, our family member, she one had the uh, back surgery. Uh, and had uh, a difference of opinion whether she wanted to go through with it or not. But I think she did. She's being blessed. I see her in the comments. She's acting up as usual for the for the good. And go to my video with says, Cynthia Bailey from the Real Housewives of Atlanta gives us her two cents worth. PMP Patricia Green, honey, her dissertation she wrote on her feelings on subject matter. Girl, she was spot on. Okay, family, she was spot on. I want y'all to go read what she had put down. She had broke it down from the biblical stance of a worldly woman trying to pray for a, um, what do you call it, biblical man. I, I was like, damn, girl. Girl, I be like running to see what she got to say because she told that shit up. I was there for I like, now see, that's one who sees and who hears, okay? But anyway. Yeah, go check that out. And San Duritz, thank you for your prayers. Continue to put me in your prayer. Our family, put me in your prayer, okay? I know sometimes you love me, you hate me, whatever, but you still come back. So that means you love me in a weirdest way. Okay, but continue to pray for me. Com continue to pray for everybody that is needing prayer up in our um, chat section and our family, honey. Because, hey, you reach one, you teach one, you love on one, uh, you will be recognized. Not in this world, but you will be uh, in the heavenly realm world okay for those who see see for those who hear hear and um i don't know where my anna banana at but continue to pray for her and all her endeavors and just pray and love on everybody that's in the chat okay pray and love on everybody when you go to bed at night if you're praying uh person love the lord or just have a great spirituality about yourself. Uh, just pray for the person. Good works. Not bad works now. We don't want nobody praying for us bad. I'll die, Father, okay? Good night, Tyler. Tell you going to come back to your ass when you do shit like that. But when you pray, pray in honesty and, uh, what do you call it, peace and serenity for another person, you're doing the work of the Lord. Continue that and it will manifest itself tenfold back to you. Trust me, your blessings will be overflowing that you could not receive it all. All right, I'm just saying, I'm giving it to you. I am giving it to you. Take heed now. Okay, and I want to say thank you for uh, to Carolyn, or uh, Carol Christensen, uh, Abra Patterson, uh, Abra uh, Patterson, Loretta Elliott Pinky, love um uh, and chocolate queen i do remember the vivica fox situation when it was on celebrity apprentice and how she allegedly stole um vivica fox phone i know it with ken ken you know it with ken okay but see that's how the shady shitty person she is okay moving on i want to say thank you to z.a myers and um bernie smith and if i forgot anybody please charge it to my head not my heart i haven't been um uh, 
all together ever since Saturday last Saturday when I fell and hit that ground hard as hell okay I'm just telling you but I will prevail from this situation and I will keep it moving because ain't that gonna stop me but death and taxes okay death and taxes <laughs> <laughs> that is for sure the price I am going to have to pay. But we're going to get on into this uh, article that was written by Cheat Sheet um, dot com. The uh, journalist was Courtney Jackson. And she's trying to tell us that as a title of her article, does Candy Birds think NeNe Leakes is genuine about making peace with Kenya Moore? Okay. Now we already know those who don't care too much for uh candy burris that she's full of shit she's gonna say what she want to say and she's gonna try to stay on the winning team and right now it's team nene pretty much who winning but it was supposed to have been showing that it was gonna be team kenya but it seemed like everybody turning on her ass and her husband and she trying to get sympathy points because anybody as strong as kenya she goes and do a psa on domestic violence be it violently or verbally, there's no reason why she should be with a man like Mark Daly and trying to hold on for the family's sake. I don't know how many times I got to tell it, but I guess since people don't get it, got it good, I'm going to continue to tell it from my point of view. Fuck the family, okay? Fuck the family. If somebody's whooping on your ass, talking to you uh, dirty and nasty and verbally just d demeaning you as a human being, leave them. The family will be better off if you left that person, be it the man that's doing the abuser or be it the woman. So get that out your head. Stop trying to say I'm there for the family, I'm there for the kids. Cause no, in anything you're hurting the kids, you're hurting yourself, you're hurting the family. Uh, with staying and they're showing how a man does a woman or how a woman does a man that's for the negative. So that stuff does not fly with me. I have no empathy for it. Forget it. It's either flight or fight. Defend yourself and leave or stay and suffer the consequences. And sometimes it may be death, okay? But you have nobody to fault but yourself. Because you can and you shall doing it right, the right way. And there's phases to getting away from an uh, 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 abusive spouse or abusive boyfriend. It's too much information out there for you not to get a hold of yourself. Stop yourself if you must and get straight, okay? It's fight or flight time. Either defend yourself your honor and uh your worthiness or sit there and take it and don't say shit okay that's just how i feel about it but courtney jackson gives us a title of her article real housewives of atlanta does candy birds think nene leaks is genuine about making peace with kenya moore i'm telling you family what you think about that title well let's go on and see what her article says shall we shall we shall okay if you tuned in for march 1st episode of the real housewives of atlanta then you saw what went down before during and after mark daly's big event off camera some of the ladies have been vocal about the relationship between daly and kenya moore and on sunday night's episode also highlighted strained relationships between moore and some of her castmates now i know i've asked my family sidebar what they really felt about the situation they uh uh some of them told what they really felt was going on and i definitely you all should know uh how i stand on this relationship with kenya moore and mark daly i if we don't know feel this sort of contractual agreement some say it was uh legitly written for two years you know i think it was uh uh written for uh as long as i guess both parties could take it or at least at least one year but honey mark is showing up and showing out he won't out of this farce of a marriage. Just my perspective. Just some of my family members' perspectives. We can have one. That's why we own Family Affair. We get to shout out what we feel. And we don't need nobody trying to dim our shine on what we have to say. Because everybody have a point. Everybody have a perspective. Everybody is right in their own minds. Because that's their truth. So, uh, we have different parts of our uh, family members that feel certain ways about certain characters on this show. Okay, but y'all know, I think it's a fake fraudulent, full of fuckery, uh, romance, marriage, and fatherhood. But who am I? I'm just expressing my opinion, right? Okay, get it, got it good. Going back to the article, it says specifically the ongoing feud with her and Nene reaches a fever pitch during filming. And currently, they still haven't mended fences. Each of the cast members have their own opinion on the rift. But Candy Burris recently shared her thoughts on where things stand. Okay, Candy expressed her opinion on Speak On It. Yes, we know. I just did a video on it 
make sure you tune in, interact through that chat sessions because I know y'all got plenty to say. Because y'all are part of me, I'm a part of y'all, and we don't take shit. We just speak our peace and our, we mind our own business and we go on about our own life after we done sit and drop tea and hack food, uh, broke bread together, okay? But she goes on to say fans, fans of Burris are probably familiar with her weekly recap on Speak On It where she breaks down what viewers watched in the latest episode. Many times we, she'll share what's going on behind the scenes and this week she spoke about leaks and more. Burris addressed the fans question about whether she believes leaks is being genuine about trying to move forward with more in spite of Moore's reluctance. She said yes but explained why. Coming back into the season, this is Candy, Nene obviously had a lot of relationships she needed to mend. But Kenya was actually one of the first people that she was saying she wanted to sit down with and talk to. She sat down with me as you know. Yes, Candy, we know, sidebar, that she called you over to the fold, invited you for lunch, whatever. And she was just using you as a pun, as a scapegoat, and basically to take back what she wanted Kenya to know. And you did that beautifully uh, and, and most expeditiously uh sent back to her and kiki about it okay you were her mold that she was just trying to plant information in you so it can get back to who she wanted for it to get back to which was kenya moore because she knew in her hearts of hearts kenya moore ain't coming to talk with her alone kenya moore ain't got shit to say to her and technically nita ain't got shit to say to her all right but it's just the games that we play to be on these reality shows and try to have sensationalism when it comes up to look like total ratchetness and making everybody look like a damn fool but that's just my opinion. Going back to the article, it says, but she even told me then that she wanted to meet up with Kenya and talk to Kenya. I don't know if Kenya thought it was genuine. Yes, you do, Ken. Stop lying. Go on and stand in your shit. You know exactly how Kenya Moore feels about Nene. Instead of you being a true young old, well, a true young G, you should have said, you know, Kenya don't like you, Nene. He don't like you. He don't like your ass, okay? So what you basically would tell me, I understand you bought me here as a mole to tell me what you wanted her to know because you knew she wasn't going to be in your presence at all. I would definitely take the information back. Thank you for having dinner with me. Now, Kat, what's going on with you and Greg? That's how I would play the shit. But see, Kenya, I mean, Candy, you ain't got it like that. You ain't, you don't float like that. Okay, let us fade. No, you know you being played as a pun, but you're going to go and do it because you know you're going to come up on the winning team. All right, that's what you should have played with Nene. But see, Nene can play with you all day, every day because both of y'all are thinking about that moolah, that money, that door me okay them benjamins and y'all just gonna let hell on each other okay because y'all see each other am i correct that was your words not mine but moving on it says burst added it's possible more felt it was just for show damn candy really really candy then it says leak says she extended an olive branch more than once while appearing on the real housewives of atlanta after show leak stated that she's tried to make peace with kenya on multiple occasions multiple occasions including before filming season 12 but it hasn't worked out she also says she thinks Moore just wants to keep arguing with her and remain at odds for the sake of press attention now we know that's true that's the name of the game on all these reality shows you got to stay relevant you got to stay out there in social media and you got to have people keep talking about you such as content creators and vloggers such as myself okay if you ain't got that going on and them telling the masses what they feel about you you wouldn't have a contract you wouldn't have a plan playground to have employment you would have to go back and do mundane work such as nine to five okay i'm just speaking it in real terms keeping it real which candace should be doing but she's too scared of kenya moore okay but anyway Going back to the article, it says Burris echoed Leek's once genuine intentions by saying she feels Nene is tired of the drama and wants to mend things. Burris thinks it's possible due to past conflicts on the show getting resolved. However, that may not be the case. Okay, other Real Housewives of Atlanta cast members aren't optimistic. Even Marcel and Portia Williams are of the mind that more and Leaks will probably never get along. The two women have been at each other's throats outside of the show, throwing shade at one another in interviews on social media. Yes, you have to throw the jabs. You have to throw the blows because what else could Kenya give us on the show? If she wasn't twirling around like a massive tornado out of control, what could she give us? She don't have positiveness in her life. She's not a positive person. So she's playing her role and very well i should add but that's just my opinion going back to the article it says leaks just did an appearance on the breakfast club morning show and told host Sham 
Charlemagne the God, DJ Envy, and Angela Yee that she does not like Kenya and called her mean spirited. She also commented that through that though Moore told people she spat on her, she did not, but she definitely would. I'm like, Nina, that's gonna be the end of your career, girl, cause they gonna lock you up for an assault bodily charge, okay? So if you wanna do that, which I know you just faking the phone, you just talking shit and whatever, you continue to do you, boo, cause that's what you gotta start too, drama. If you didn't come with drama, we wouldn't watch you, okay? Cause we don't trust you either, okay? We don't trust that you love all these people, that you trying to build a sisterhood and this, that, and that. No, honey, you like quiet over there with Mary the Medicine calling them her sisters. Then she's over at Sister Circle saying them her true sisters. Now, how the hypocrisy have reigned through uh, black reality TV programming, okay? I'm just saying. Let's keep it real for my, my fam, you know? My opinion, that's what I say. I don't know if it's golden or not to some people, but it's my golden word, all right? <coughs> <laughs> so uh going back to the article it says real housewives of Atlanta fans are watching this beef play out on the show and in real life but they will have to tune in for the reunion show to see where things land with these ladies maybe one day they will make up okay and that was it of that article so we definitely want to thank showbiz cheat sheet for giving us another salacious story on what we uh, deem as the Real Housewives of Atlanta World War okay going on and we want to thank Courtney Jackson for giving us all of that news we can use okay uh, but it's now to um, try to see if I had a clip <sighs> to play but my phone is buffering right now and we don't want to hold nobody up so maybe we can catch it at another time but yes, y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what ye say. What you say about subject matter. And how do you believe that it was sincere? What Nene was pulling out for Candy? Or was Candy full of bullshit? Or was both Nene and Candy full of bullshit? And just using each other to a means to an end. Or a means to an end. I don't know. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay? But say what you on this matter, my family. I have done my spiel, my rendition of my recap of what I felt about this subject uh, topic. Now it's your time as my guest host to weigh in on the matter at hand, okay? Subject matter, okay? Not me, babies. Subject matter. And keep giving me all your love and your support and your prayers because, Lord, I need it. When more people are praying for you positive, you can't do nothing but help excel in your everyday life. And that's what I wish even for you all and even for my haters, okay? Because haters, we can make them out motivators all day long they may not want to support but they always on this channel viewing seeing and making snide comments okay snap snappy comments okay but that's okay because we know we get rid of them quick fast in a hurry hurry we do it expeditiously <laughs> As T.I. says, I might start using his word expeditiously or professional and swiftly as, um, was it, um, Justin J123? Yes, honey, get rid of them as quickly as they sit down and make their comments so other people can view them. All right, we don't get down that way. If you can't come in and stand the heat in the kitchen and make yourself be known respectfully and put your comments down there respectfully, we ain't got time for you because that's what we do over here. We get respect. We, we still speak our shit. We still speak our shit, but we do it respectfully. So y'all continue to like, share our videos, and continue to bring more family members over to sit and just chill and see how they like the atmosphere if they don't like it you definitely don't have to bring them back but if they do like it convince them to subscribe so we can move on and we just be one big happy family uh dressing this youtube street okay and i will see y'all next video guys and always be blessed always when somebody knock you down get back up get back in your frame of mind of being that person uh that's gonna um take over the world or at least the world in their eyes of what they want to succeed and how they want to have success shown in their life remember you got to make that first step for anybody to recognize you and lord knows he's gonna put the right people in your path to take you to that next level okay love you down to the core love you always and i will see y'all next video good night